dear students today we will further use the loop structure to solve some of the real world problems one of the problem you will have to solve in computer science in your career is the salting which means that you have a long list of names or numbers or any kind of data and you want to sort that data according to certain criteria and of course if the data is alphabets then the criteria would be that you either want to sort it alphabetically from ascending to descending order or in the form of descending order that the highest um, characters are uh, replaced on the top and then the lowest characters are coming at the end so this kind of ascending or descending order can be used to sort the um, characters and similarly if you have numbers then we can again perform ascending or descending sorting of the numbers so arranging those elements in a, in an order so today we will be discussing one important algorithm that is about the sorting and known as insertion sort so actually we have these five um, names fred alex diana byron and carol and we want to sort them in a way that alex should come on the top and then byron carol sort it 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 should be sort in a descending order this is basically the requirement like alex should go at the top then starting from b byron and then the c1 carol then the d d anna and then fred so this should be the final output of your algorithm and what constraints we have to solve it one of the thing is the sorting the list within itself so we will not be given further space to move the names to that space so we need to reuse the same space to sort this list and moving to another list is not allowed and this is because we want to utilize space efficiently this doesn't mean that we do not have enough space today we have very large spaces available but the problem is that when we apply such kind of sorting algorithms then it may happen that we have a very long list of million and billion of things which we want to sort and in that scenario uh, putting or using another list of course will utilize lot of memory and what would be the sorting procedure in insertion sort so we will say that sub list consisting of only the top name is actually sorted followed by the next sub list is not sorted and then we will pick the first element from the unsorted list and we will try to sort it between first and second so i will apply it then you will really understand that what's happening so at the moment when we have such a list we can say that this list which i have put in a, a rectangle this list is not sorted and we are saying that fred is sorted already so next time we will pick one from this list the alex and we will try to adjust alex with the by comparing it with the sorted list which is upward fred so this means this alex will be compared with fred and we will have alex upward fred downward and then diana byron and carol so now we are saying that this list which is highlighted in the rectangle is not sorted however these two have been sorted at least 
so this means that we are picking one by one the name from the downward list which is unsorted starting from the topmost element like the next one would be the Diana and we are trying to put that element in a proper location within the sorted list which is upward so this means that when we pick Diana from here we will try to adjust between Alex and Fred and then we will say that the upward list is sorted and downward list is unsorted so we will explain and basically execute this example in the next module as well in details so here we just wanted to get an idea that what is insertion sort what is the basic philosophy and how it works by considering the topmost element is sorted and the below elements are unsorted then picking the next element from the unsorted list the top element from the unsorted list and comparing it with the sorted list and placing it at a right position and then saying okay now the top two elements are sorted and the next elements are unsorted and then we are executing this process again and again up till whole list is sorted so such an example will be executed in the next module